breaking overnight, the Boy Scouts of America files for bankruptcy. I'm Maurice Drummond. And I'm Marissa Holloway. The filing comes as the organization faces hundreds of sexual abuse lawsuits. Those lawsuits are suspended this morning due to the late night bankruptcy filing. The organization says it believes more than 12,000 children may have been abused over the course of 72 years. According to the filing, the Boy Scouts has $50,000 or less in assets, but liabilities between $100 million and $500 million. So what does this mean for local troops and kids all across St. Louis? News Force Justin Andrews is tracking that story. Good morning, Justin. Yeah, good morning. Although there are so many chapters with this bankruptcy book, I can tell you this morning that the programs with the local Boy Scout chapters will go on. That's according to a statement from Boy Scouts. Here's the rest of that statement you should see on your screen here. Quote, scouting programs will continue throughout this process and for many years to come. It goes on to say local councils are not filing for bankruptcy because they are legally separate and distinct organizations. End quote. Now here's where it gets muddy because ultimately, locally, they could be forced to sell off some of their property holdings like campgrounds and hiking trails. This morning, we've learned this could be one of the biggest, most complex bankruptcies ever seen. And you might be asking why. Well, that's due to the organization's 50 state presence and its ties to churches and civic groups. To give you an idea of the unusual complexity with this, court records expose this. Get this, nearly 8,000 suspected abusers and well over 12,000 victims. This is a very painful turn for for an organization that many say has been a pillar and really helping shape the lives of young people. We are live in the Central West End this morning. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4. Some disturbing information. Thank you, Justin.